to our cybersecurity career is still worth pursuing in 2024. The reason why I bring this up is because recently there's been so many postings on social media and news articles talking about how the cybersecurity industry has been increasingly more and more difficult to break into, not only because of the current job market, but also because of the higher barrier of entry. Employers are looking for more advanced level certifications and also they're looking for years and years of experience for an entry level job. On top of that, the competition for cybersecurity jobs has also increased with a lot of people looking to break into the industry. In this video, I'm going to give you five different reasons why I think cybersecurity jobs and a career in cybersecurity is still worth pursuing in 2024. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity and my journey throughout the industry. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more short form and lifestyle content at Cyber with Ben. So the first reason as to why I think it's still worth pursuing a cybersecurity career in 2024 is going to be the high demand for cybersecurity professionals. Now, I'm sure you've seen so many different articles on the news and also on social media talking about how the demand for cybersecurity professionals is only going to increase. And that is going to be true. Cybersecurity professionals moving into the future are always going to be in demand. And the demand for cybersecurity professionals is only going to increase as threat actors are continuing to find different ways to get creative and change the ways that they attack attack certain systems. Also with the introduction of artificial intelligence, this is going to introduce a brand new frontier in terms of cybersecurity professionals. According to industry reports, the cybersecurity workforce gap is still abundant with a lack of cybersecurity professionals. So there's also going to be a high demand from employers for skilled cybersecurity professionals, and it's only going to increase in the future. I'm going to pull up the screenshot right now, but according to the U.S. Department of Labor, as of August 2022, there are over 700,000 open roles in cyber security in the United States. And according to industry projections, jobs for information security analysts are expected to grow 32% from 2022 to 2032. So it's clear and obvious that cybersecurity professionals are going to continue to be in high demand as we move on into the future. If you're thinking about getting a degree in cybersecurity, I've got some exciting news about today's video sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU is one of the largest accredited nonprofit online universities in the country. Their tuition rates are among the lowest, making it a great option for affordable education. Plus, they've been recognized as one of the most innovative universities by the US News and World Report. SNHU's cybersecurity program will cover all of the high demand skills you need in the industry. You'll learn how to tackle complex cybersecurity problems using systems and adversarial thinking. You'll understand hacker tactics and respond to real-time incidents. You'll learn how to assess systems for risks and threats, and also learn how to make informed decisions based on legal and ethical principles. You can choose a general cybersecurity track or specialize in data analytics fundamentals or project management fundamentals. It's a well-rounded education that sets you up for your first role in cybersecurity. Check out snhu.edu slash benchrong. I'll leave a link in the description below to see the average annual salary for cyber cybersecurity professionals, and also to request free information about their cybersecurity program. Thank you to SNHU for sponsoring today's video. So reason number two is going to be the potential for lucrative salaries. Now, just because I say lucrative salaries, don't expect to make six figures as soon as you get your first job in cybersecurity. One thing I will say about cybersecurity is that it requires a specific knowledge and also technical skills in order to perform well in cybersecurity and get the job done. And in turn, when you have specialized skills and training and knowledge, this is going to lead to higher potential salaries compared to maybe other sorts of industries. As you get more hands-on experience, skills, and training and knowledge, you're going to be able to demand more and more higher salaries as you progress throughout your career. And as I mentioned before, because the demand for cybersecurity professionals is so high and only going to increase, the salaries for cybersecurity professionals is also going to increase as well. So this is definitely something to consider, especially if you're someone who is looking to break into the industry. So these jobs can definitely set you up for success later on in your future and your personal finances and also your financial health. So number three is going to be the diverse career opportunities that cybersecurity has to offer. The field of cybersecurity is so vast and there's so many different opportunities and specialties within cybersecurity. So if you're someone who is unsure what to specialize in or don't know what to do, I guarantee you cybersecurity has some form of role that fits your skill set and your interests. These roles range anywhere from threat intelligence, blue team, red teaming, governance risk and compliance, cloud security, application security, network security. There's just so many different roles to choose from 
and it's going to be up to you based on your preferences, based on your skill set, and based in your interests to find out what you want to do in cybersecurity because it's so vast. And to add on to that, if you're someone who is already working in the industry and you're already working in a certain specialty in cybersecurity, it's never too late to learn some new skills and also branch into other sides of cybersecurity. So in terms of the long-term career path of cybersecurity, you definitely don't have to stick to one thing or one specialty in cybersecurity. You can definitely spice things up and try something new, learn some new skills, and branch into a different specialty in cybersecurity. Number four is going to be the job stability and growth that the cybersecurity jobs have to offer. Now, as you all know, the tech industry has faced a lot of layoffs and it's been really volatile in terms of the job market. But one thing I will say about the cybersecurity industry is that it's relatively stable. A lot of people consider cybersecurity jobs recession proof, although that's not completely true because everyone really can be laid off. Cybersecurity jobs seem to be pretty stable in terms of layoffs. Now, this is because organizations need to keep on their cybersecurity teams even throughout these different layoffs because of the fact that they need to protect their assets and their systems and also customer information. So in the past few years, we've seen so many different introduction of new technologies, including internet of thing devices, cloud security, artificial intelligence now. So there's so many different new types of technologies coming out. And in turn, you're gonna need cybersecurity professionals to secure these new types of technologies. And as we progress into the future, there's only going to be more and more new innovations into technology that require cybersecurity professionals. So not only do you have job stability in the current day, but you also have job growth for new types of technologies moving into the future. At number five, we have the impactful work that cybersecurity professionals do on a daily basis. So when you're working in cybersecurity and you're doing your daily tasks, oftentimes you might lose perspective on exactly how important your role is in terms of protecting the organization and its users. But one thing I will say about cybersecurity professionals and the jobs that we do is that it's going to be extremely important for companies and also society as a whole for cybersecurity professionals. Everything that we do today involves some form of the internet or technology, and as cybersecurity professionals, our work is going to be so impactful to promote this and also make things run smoothly. So our work as cybersecurity professionals can be challenging and dynamic, but at the same time, our work is extremely impactful and it can be really fulfilling if you're someone who is working in cybersecurity or looking to work in a cybersecurity. Cybersecurity professionals play a significant role in protecting sensitive customer personal information and also organizational resilience and also national security as a whole. So overall, if you're someone who is looking to break in to the industry, definitely don't get bogged down and discouraged from breaking into the industry because of the high expectations, high demands, uh, things of that nature. I think cybersecurity as a whole is definitely still worth breaking into in 2024 and contains a lot of upside and benefits. The barrier of entry for cybersecurity professionals has definitely increased in the past few years, but that only goes to show that cybersecurity professionals are going to be increasingly in demand in the future. With that being said though, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys found some value in this video, please go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. Also, if you want some more short form content, career advice, and lifestyle content, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.